International Women's Day 2022 was celebrated to great fanfare by the Daughters of Dun Iskig on Sunday, 6th of March 2022. To add to the visual spectacle, ladies and gentlemen from Cove Vintage Era Group dressed in exquisite period costume met with the local team at Care Castle. Hats, bonnets and ribbons were the order of the day. Care Social and Historical Society and several community groups pledged their support, including the local ICA chapter, Care to Sing group and Care Community School. Women, men and children were invited to don hats and assemble to pay tribute to the care women of the past who stood in solidarity in the square during the land war of the 1800s. This was a period of great turbulence, evictions and force, met in care by mass demonstrations, solidarity and boycotting, with local women emerging to form Care Ladies Land League and earning the description, an essential part of the movement. Speaking on behalf of the daughters, Joe O'Neill addressed the assembled crowd. And we're here because in 1879, the Land League was set up in Mayo by a great man called Michael Davitt and in that very same year it was set up in Cairn. In 1880 when the Ladies Land League was established in Dublin, it was also established in Cairn. And we were an amazing group of people who resisted the evil of landlordism. On this square the first meeting had 500 people, then it went to 5,000 and there was at one stage 12,000 on this square demanding the right to own the land we worked. And so today I'm remembering my great-great-grandmother Mary and her Fenian Land League husband who stood on this square and never dreamed that I would wear a hat or bonnet and walk into the landlord's agent's house. So... So in the middle of the turmoil of the period, and I have read some of the evictions around this area, where from one acre of land, Lady Margaret Charters, who had 16,616 acres, evicted us and we went to the workhouse or we emigrated. And in the middle of the turmoil, a man stood here, he was a care farmer, John Ross Lonergan, and he said the landlord's agent who lived in Care House are saying that care men drink too much and that the wives and daughters are wearing hats and bonnets. And he said, and why shouldn't our wives, our sisters, our daughters wear hats and bonnets and ribbons and be like ladies? And when he said that, there was a great cheer on this square. So that's what we're doing today. We are walking where our great-grandmothers never dared to walk. We're walking into the landlord's agent's house as ladies. And we especially um, stand in solidarity with them today, especially the Ukrainian care people who are with us. 